hello guys and welcome to the channel thanks for tuning in so today i am going to be unboxing and also reviewing monarch deluxe edition for the nintendo switch so without further ado let's get into the video so first and foremost i just want you to know that i didn't know myself that this game actually comes with uh two three additional things it comes with a reversible sleeve it also comes with a fully colored art book and also a digital soundtrack now the soundtrack to this game is amazing but we'll get into that further on once i actually review the game so first and foremost let's unwrap the game have a look around the box itself um like i said it does have a, a reversible sleeve which is nice i mean i love it when games have reversible sleeves and also additional content and with this game you get a fully colored art book like i mentioned and also a digital soundtrack now the fully colored art book is really really well made really good quality it just shows you some of the characters and stuff so i was really happy to see that and originally originally i was actually uh, a bit on um, on the fence to be honest with this game because it is a bit of a dark game and I, after playing Shin Megami Tensei 5 i didn't really want to be playing another dark game but then my friend said look go and find out do some research about the game and stuff and then you'll be able to make a more sound an informed decision whether you want to play this game or not so i went away and learned that this game is developed by four u corporations and also published by nis america now these people also worked uh on shimigami tensei so it does have a, a real resemblance to smt and also has a real resemblance to persona as well if you wish to be your own person to have your own ego, then don't give in to what others call normal. Only you can defend your will and desires, your beliefs and morals. Because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts, your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. So it all starts with your character waking up in the Shin Mikado Academy, a school that's being cut off from the external world by these other entities, obviously, that are demonic of nature. So basically, people with strong egos were able to make pacts with demons that represent the seven deadly sins, if you were. Uh, and becoming pact bearers, uh, these powerful beings that can use authority to bend the world's natural order. Uh, and because of their actions, uh, a weird mist has appeared all over the school on all the different levels turning people into this crazed madness appearance of their character uh, and as a pack bearer yourself your main objective is basically to defeat the other pack bearers in an attempt to basically just restore the order of the world Monarch is a game that will actually ask you a lot of questions and depending on how you answer the questions will determine the outcome of the game. So Monarch's themes of creating a strong ego to deal with demons aren't only present on a narrative level but in fact at the very start you will answer a series of questions which will be used to set your levels in each one of your seven deadly sins and this will determine which demon you will be able to summon right at the beginning and also further increase along the campaign. So with new demons added to your party over time, this is a very interesting system that may result in an easier or a harder way of playing very early in the game. So as you uh, progress further, as the chapters go on in the game, um, more characters will join your party as well as the boost they offer to your team. So these characters will also be closely linked to the game's progression and the narrative of the game as well. There is some character specific events that are good 
and bad so there is strengths and weaknesses to both of these so by giving each character their own chapter the game can explore character specific characteristics and backstories which is done good sometimes and sometimes to be honest with you it's kind of a, a missed opportunity because some of the actual characters backstories feel really bland and feel more like a drag and more of like a chore to be honest i've completed the game and you know some of the some of them characters i really don't want to go through and play this game again because of those chores and stuff and just the way that they just dragged it out and it was a bit unnecessary to be honest oh right i haven't introduced myself yet my name is nozomi hinata i'm a third year here at the academy nice to properly meet you thank you for your help in the other world you're the reason we were able to make it back safely so on a brighter note monarch presents a very interesting and engaging strategic turn-based combat system taking some of its ideas from the likes of fire emblem but ditching the grid in favor of a freedom of movement monarch builds a very deep combat system where you need to constantly balance the risk and reward behind each movement so the theme of getting mad is translated to combat where you will be able to increase your insanity meter when using certain magic skills so once it gets to like 100% you lose control of your character and they will attack anything that's near them with increased power using this strategically can help you get the upper hand in a very tricky situation a phone call but we've had no service this entire time Another thing that really kind of annoyed me is that even though the combat system is engaging and fun but at the 40-50 hour mark you're still fighting some of the same enemies you fought right at the beginning and all they have is fancy armor and a few new tricks. The game's evolution system is interesting but also a little bit problematic if you ask me. Instead of a standard experience bar you'll get currency named spirit which can be used for both uh getting new items and equipment and as a way to unlock new skills now that being said imagine you get a character that you know you're gonna get at the 40 hour mark they're gonna be on level one and if you haven't got enough spirit you're not gonna be able to you know evolve that character unless you've been saving it at the cost of basically getting more experience for your current team it's just annoying that was really annoying i think that's where they fell short and they should have you know thought about that a little bit more at least bringing a character up uh, in the middle of the game or a bit past the middle of the game at least give them at least a level 21 or a level 22 but no they're starting level one so there's that to think about as well so just to summarize the game has a dark story that involves demons and anime tropes monarch presents a japanese style rpg experience that comes with many unique but I'm sad to say half-baked ideas while it has a deep and interesting combat system the other elements are either badly implemented or underdeveloped so they really needed to spend more time on this game and I think if they do make a part two they should really consider some of the places where they actually fell short for example using the same enemies over and over again is a real big downfall for myself bringing characters into the game and i've mentioned this a few times mid game and having them on level one is really annoying because then you gotta grind and then also gotta think about where to put your actual spirit do you put it onto the new character do you put it onto your previous character how do you want to progress so it's a bit of a dilemma if you ask me but those things aside um i think they're just half baked hopefully if they do make a part two they can polish upon those things and everything's a learning curve to be honest i think they did really well in making this game i thoroughly enjoyed it aside from those you know problems that it had but moving forward i want to give this game a six out of ten the reason being is because of all the half-baked problems that the game had aside from that i enjoyed my experience with the game i will not be playing it again for a while just because of some of these side quests and some of the characters stories were a bit of a chore for myself with all that being said guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so please leave me a like leave some comments let me know if you're going to play this game if you have played it let me know what your experience was 
Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.